Okay, so this morning I went through my bathroom cabinet and uh, this is what I found. Uh, and I know that I'm not the only one filling my cabinets with pills, ointments, other types of medications which are more or less vital for my survival and well-being. In fact, there are some 10,000 different active substances consumed in Sweden every day. And when these substances have done their job in our bodies, they, or on our skin, if we rub them on our skin, they end up in the, at the wastewater treatment plant via the sewers. So the question is then, is this an issue? Well, today's wastewater treatment plants are not designed to take care of these substances. And what is not removed at the wastewater treatment plant ends up in the, in the environment. And researchers have seen that there are negative effects on the life or the aquatic life downstream of wastewaters. This poor fish died. Um, and so then we have to ask ourselves, uh, what happens? Is it the same for all substances? Well, the fate is very varying. Uh, taking two commonly used painkillers. I know you have all seen these, if not used them. It's ibuprofen and diclofenac, or more commonly known as ibumetin and voltaren. At the wastewater treatment plant, up to 90% of the ibuprofen is actually degraded by the bacteria, while only some 20% is removed of the diclofenac. So that means that 80% is actually released into the environment. Um, is there anything we can do? Well, there are technologies. There's a number of different te technologies that we can use to improve the degradation of these substances. Um, and I work specifically with ozonation. So by bubbling the ozone gas through the treated wastewater, the highly reactive ozone molecule can oxidize the pharmaceuticals and rendering them inactive. So by applying ozone, we can actually reach to below 1% of the incoming concentrations of diclofenac. And this is not only true for this compound, but for a number of substances. Uh, for example, the synthetic hormones from, from birth control pills. Uh, and these substances have actually shown to cause problems with, for example, rep reproduction and uh, gender change in fish. So it might prove very important to, to actually take care of, of these substances and reduce the environmental concentrations. In my work, I focus on the Swedish tr wastewater treatment plants and how to optimize this ozone uh, treatment to the conditions that we have here. I specifically look at what um, compounds in the water affects the ozone consumption, and I try to find patterns to, that we can apply in order to reduce the need for, for um, pilot trials. So is or will the treatment of pharmaceutical residues in wastewater be the new big thing within wastewater treatment? Well, I think that we really need to understand the value of clean water and with that comes proper treatment of wastewater. And whether this includes um, upgrading the existing plants or adding new treatment steps, we need to take into account these new and emerging contaminants such as pharmaceuticals. And that's all for me.